This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Israel shifts battlefield into Gaza. Who are the Iranians trying to scare? Why the US media isn't covering US deaths in Iraq? These stories and more next on this Mosaic Intelligence Report. It seems that the battlefield for the Israelis has shifted from Lebanon into Gaza. Many believe that Israeli politicians and generals have been trying to divert the attention away from their failure in Lebanon and turn it into a victory in Gaza. Recently, the idea of separation from Palestinians, both geographically and demographically, has united the far right and the far left in Israel. But how will this separation evolve? Many Arab politicians and commentators fear that the issue of transfer, that is moving Palestinians from their lands, is becoming more of a reality since the ascent of hardliner Avidor Lieberman into government alongside Prime Minister Olmert. We are talking about Black Day for the Israeli democracy. Lieberman, fascist number one of the Israeli society, of Israel, the parallel of Le Pen and Jörg Haider is being upgraded to the degree of deputy prime minister. Adding to this fear and tension, more than 280 Palestinians have been killed in the four-month-old Israeli offensive on Gaza. Iran has begun a new chapter of its war games in the Gulf, testing new missiles that can hit deep into Israel. Most Arab networks focused on this issue, ignoring the fact that these Iranian maneuvers came on the heel of U.S. Arab naval maneuvers to intercept Iranian vessels in the Gulf. One wonders who the Iranians are trying to scare, their neighbors, the Americans, or the Israelis. The American death toll for October climbed past 100, and more than 1,100 Iraqi civilians were killed. This grim milestone marks the highest death toll in one month since March 2006. I don't think our soldiers should have to die. I don't think our soldiers should have to die to secure the Iraqi people who do not want it. The rising American casualties have produced a huge drag on Republican candidates as the U.S. midterm elections approaches. The vote is seen in many cases as a referendum on the war, which has stretched into its 44th months. Unlike the constant coverage of Iraqi civilian deaths and injuries on most Arab networks, there seems to be a reduction of coverage in the U.S. about those soldiers killed in the line of duty. I wonder if the media showed footage of actual U.S. military deaths in Iraq. Would this reduce some of the public numbness? I'm Jamal Dajani for Mosaic Intelligence Report. To learn more about Mosaic, Read what others say or post us a comment. Visit our website at linktv.org slash mirblog. This program was brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. television network devoted to global and national news with uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.